Now motion in a plane with constant acceleration. Suppose at time t equal to zero, velocity is v zero and position of the particle is r zero. Then at some time t equal to t, velocity of the particle is v and its position is r. Now. as per definition the acceleration is change in velocity upon time interval so final velocity minus initial velocity upon t minus 0 okay now here this is vector okay so we can write now acceleration that is vector v minus vector v0 upon time t so v minus v0 that is at in vector form so we can write vector v equal to vector v0 plus vector a into t so this one is the first equation but it is in vector form so now here we can take the components in x and y direction so we can write one equation corresponding to x component and another one corresponding to y component like this vx equal to v0x plus ax into t and vy equal to v0y plus ay into t clear to all of you now for constant acceleration we already discussed this thing in third chapter the average velocity that will be the summation of two velocities by two so average velocity that is v plus v0 by 2 now displacement that is average velocity into time now displacement that is final position minus initial position that is equal to average velocity that is vector v plus vector v0 by 2 into time t okay now replace this vector v by vector v0 plus at so here this v is replaced by vector v0 plus vector a into t plus this v0 vector as it is by 2 into t so r minus r0 that is here 2v0 by 2 so that will be v0 into this t plus at by 2 into t so that is half at square so now we can write vector r equal to vector r0 plus vector v0 into t plus half into vector a into t square this is the second equation so again we can write this particular one in component form x equal to x0 plus v0 xt plus half axt square this is the x component of final position this is x component of initial position this is x component of initial velocity and this is x component of acceleration similarly we can write the equation for y component that is y equal to y0 plus v0 y into t plus half ay into t square now we have this equation r minus r0 equal to v plus v0 by 2 rewrite it here but now this time t 
So from this one, we can write time t that is v minus v0 by a. So replace time t by v minus v0 by a. But v plus v0 into v minus v0 that we can write v square minus v0 square. Clear? Upon 2a. So, now final equation that is v square minus v0 square equal to 2a into r minus r0.